Now, everybody I know has some special times of their life when life was good and you were younger or healthier or richer or whatever. <laughs> it's hard to define that. But there were times in my life that were very, very good. And I remember getting the GS 1100 and just feeling like, I don't know, like the king of the road or like I just had bought my first Cadillac or something. Something that's hard to define. Anyway, you can share this ride and my thoughts in 4K, adjust your device. And what is very special about this time of year? It's a special time of year. It's, the temperatures are perfect. You still don't get overheated at the end of the ride. You don't freeze in the beginning of the ride. The leaves are changing, the pumpkins are out. There's just so many nice things this time of year. I look forward to this time of year all year long. Now, as I get the farm chores done and get Karen prepped up for her day, check the weather, final check of the weather, have that final cup of coffee. Maybe I should even eat some fish food here. Just such a nice day. Skies are blue. No chance of rain predicted. Supposed to be in the mid-70s. It just, just couldn't be any better than this. And this, this bike in particular, reminds me of a very special time in my life. When I had first bought this bike, and I had that vision at that point in time, that I was the king of the road. bike every time I ride it it brings back memories you, you can't even explain to people that don't have these memories the rides I went on rides to Lake George rides with my friends going to the drags going up everywhere I had that feeling I was the king of the road I don't know how to explain it and I'd ride around looking for other bikes that uh, people had had similar bikes so we could oogle them and the accessories they put on them and it was just a wonderful time to be alive and th this bike always drew attention no matter where you parked it no matter who was in a, the, if you went to a car show with it people would come over and look at it this in the early 80s this bike really was the king of the road the old bikes in my humble collection have a special feel they each bring back different memories of different times in my life times I had a little extra cash times I had no cash at all <laughs> those were the times I don't remember anyway this bike brings back only good memories A lot of people that have never had one or ridden one even always want to know what's so special about a GS. What's so special about it? It's not any one thing. What's special about it is the combination of a lot of things that make the package so desirable. This bike has an 86 exhaust system that I think just has a wonderful exhaust note, especially when you back off the gas. Just perfect. And in the magazine articles at a the time, they always made comment that that was one of the best seats in all of motorcycling. And you know what? I think they were right. And that big headlight, and anybody that's got one of these and has ever worked on it and taken that headlight apart, you know it's full right to the brim with wires and connectors and God knows how many things are in that headlight. It's part of the bike. Now 
in this part of the country, at this time of the year, it is just heavenly riding out here. You can't imagine if you're in a, a hot weather or a cold weather place. Right now, we're right at the right in the middle where it's just perfect. You can have your full leathers on and, and unzip about two inches and feel a cool breeze coming in. Just wonderful. And Suzuki made the gas tank big enough that you have a 200 mile range, sometime a little bit more even. And not only did Suzuki make the tank big enough, they made it attractive enough. The whole styling of the bike is predicated on the shape of the tank. I think the design of the bike is one of the best ever. And just the fact, and to me it's a big thing, where I'm riding, there are not a lot of gas stations. I don't want to be thinking about it. when I get near 100, 110 miles, I got to start looking for gas. This bike is great that way. <laughs> Of course, the heart and soul of the bike that makes it ultra special to me is the motor, the power band, the torque, the way it takes the gas. My bike is overgeared, 1640, and the overdrive, it doesn't seem to hurt anything, and it really helps when you have to take a 30 mile ride on Route 80 every day to get to your riding zone. It is just the best of all worlds. And the upgraded brake rotors, the EBC rotors, the steel brake lines I got from Joe Padula, every little thing, every little detail change that I made seems to make the bike more fun. And you still have people ask you when you go to a bike meetup or anything, oh, you know, if you ever want to sell that engine, there's still people 42 years later that want that engine to make a drag bike. And Jim Skinner, by the way, is one of them. And to me, it's very funny how some things seem to, t to stand the test of time so well. They become legendary, they become iconic. They become something that you see and you instantly recognize that's an 80s bike. The big headlight, all of the things that make it an 80s bike. The just styling of it, the, the big front wheel, the, the exhaust, any exhaust note, the engine, the rumble of the engine. It, it isn't like a sewing machine like some modern bikes are. The big comfortable seat. It is the sum of all the parts that make this a very, very special bike. I am so glad I have two of them. And as I'm thinking back to the 80s, I'm, I wish I would have bought another one. <laughs> But now it's time to get back to the farm and see what's going on and see if the fish are jumping out of the pond or whatever. Back to the farm. And as my friend Ray reminds me almost every time we talk, he says, ride the bike like there's no tomorrow because you will never wear these bikes out. These bikes will outlive all of us every one of us so if you are new to our channel and you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button we also cover riding in all different seasons that are as appropriate as we can we like to do graphic and paint work from time to time usually it's in the winter we, we hang out with our friends try to get their bikes on the videos too we love to do evil twins anybody that knows what an evil twin is will enjoy the channel we do carbon fiber repairs, some of the things that you will not find anywhere else on the internet, general maintenance on motorcycles, and we try to get a video out almost every day. Sometime they're about our model railroad or our experience with model airplanes or with antique bikes or with the first superbike, the GS1100E. But in the end, of course, it's about having fun with whatever motorcycle you ride, and we do enjoy 
every type of bike. That's the problem. Life is too short. And I love, I love every one of the bikes in my humble collection. And probably some of the bikes in your collection, I'm jealous of. And of course, the one Karen got me for my birthday, my beloved MT-09. Thanks for supporting the channel and thanks so much for watching.